Shorty, what have you done? Listen, I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't go. Jody, you've been begging me for weeks. You're not gonna back up now. Entertainment media has changed a lot over the years. With the line between video games and movies as a means of telling a compelling story is growing thinner and thinner the further we go into the future. Quantic Dream wants to thin that line even more with their games. But is having a cinematic experience in a video game truly a way to tackle this? Or does it end up becoming the lesser of both worlds? Here's our review of Beyond Two Souls. Crap. I said no. End of story. We follow the story of Jody, a girl with a spirit entity attached to her since she was a child. And Aiden, the said spirit entity. The story is told in a non-linear fashion, shown via chapters on the timeline, which you see during loading screens between said chapters. While this method of storytelling may sound intriguing, it felt as if it was done to make the overall story seem much more interesting than it actually is. Because of this, the pacing between chapters can be a bit jarring, as events can start from something as intense as a chase segment against the police on a movie train, to a very slow segment, such as preparing dinner. Another issue with the storytelling is the lack of character development for most of the cast. Characters who you thought were insignificant turn out to be big players in the scenes to follow, but with no build-up whatsoever. Jody, my little princess. Controls are simple enough, with the left stick for movement and the right stick for interaction. The thing is, Jody moves at a snail's pace throughout most of the game. Awkward turning animations and invisible walls have led me to get stuck in a few places from time to time. A run button would have been nice. With Aiden being a ghostly figure, the perspective shifts to first person as you float around the environment. You can phase through objects and walls, but not all walls. Quick time events here are done differently compared to most games, in a sense that there are no button prompts to speak of. Instead, time will slow down, and you have to push the right stick in the direction that you think Jody is moving. It's great when it works, but it's confusing and frustrating when it doesn't. The game wants you to think that your choices make a difference. While some will change the outcome of a few scenes, they ultimately don't affect the main story. At least not until the last 20% or so of the game. Right. Because I sure remember fighting you around before. Though I did end up enjoying the story overall, it took way too long to get to that point, and I don't see myself playing through this again. Beyond Two Souls gets a very immersive five out of ten. Sorry, I they cut through the bone, make it hard to leave you alone. They leave you here. Guns are somebody 